Hi guys, welcome to Coda Tison Lab. This is video number 69 for learning my MN system in Django with React JS. In this video, uh, I am going to I am going to start the quiz model. Okay, we are going to start the quiz model. We will create database fields and the structure that how uh, we will save the data in database for the quiz. In our previous video, we have seen that uh, what is the flow for the uh, quiz, right? Now in this model, we will see that uh, how, what fields we required we need to create for the saving the quiz data, right? So let's first create according to this flow. First, we will create the quiz model, right? So let's create a quiz. I will always try to add a comment for uh, for the things. So I'll say class quiz, right? And we will copy anything right so let's copy this here and let's say quiz so we need a uh, title and then uh, detail right and uh, let's say uh, add time right so this will be model start date field right and then it will be add auto add now auto date time field auto now add true right and then uh, we have uh, for the title it should be character field right and uh, for the detail it should be text field so text field right sorry and uh, <coughs> don't need this uh, just need the maximum length in the title and this will be our 11th model and we will say uh, we will say quiz right so this is quiz model okay now let's uh, now let's talk about the next model we'll say and uh, okay so here we are quiz questions model quiz questions right so not quiz questions yeah this is fine in this we will select first quiz quiz okay and this will be our quiz model and uh, yeah and then we will say question question will be character field it's uh, fine and then uh, we have uh, answer one right so let's say answer one okay and answer one should be uh, okay let's say uh, answer one is a, a character field right answer two answer three answer four and then right answer so this is answer two answer three answer four and then write answer okay and uh, here we are character field everything is fine and this is add time and the teacher who is adding the quiz so here it will be the teacher right so here is teacher and this will be teacher right and then uh, here we have a quiz questions right and this is 12 and let's say quiz questions now when we will assign the quiz to the course then here we are say, here we are saying uh, add quiz to course right so what I will do I will copy this uh, let's copy this okay and paste it here so we will say uh, quiz in quiz in course or we can say course quiz course quiz right so here we are and for this we will first of all we will add here the course right so here we are 
and then we will assign the quiz right so quiz is here and it will be quiz right and similarly we have add time right we don't need anything else oh uh, this will be add time here we are and this is 13 and this will be course quiz right so <coughs> okay so here we have created this okay so we have created this only for saving the uh, quiz and quiz questions and then uh, we have also created that uh, when uh, when the te teacher when the teacher will assign the uh, quiz to the course okay we also need a two uh, uh, one more model which is a student quiz in the in that uh, student will participate uh, student will attempt the quiz and save the answers right so we will do that later okay so this is our structure for saving the quiz and assigning the quiz to course right so let's migrate this so here we are and let's say python3 manage.py make migrations and then python3 manage.py migrate right so we have migrated this and now <coughs> what we are need what we are uh, now what we need to do uh, next we will create the next in the next uh, in this video we have created this in the next video uh, we will create the uh, component in react and then we will create the serializer for this fetching the data and saving the data and all that all that right so let's add this also in our admin so that admin can view everything so i will copy these three models paste it here and we will first of all we will say quiz and then we will say quiz questions and then we will say course quiz right and uh, here we will run this run here right and now let's open the let's open here the admin admin and then we have admin here and uh, we have this is uh, sorting order we need to check this that why okay this is actually reading this first one right so we can do one thing okay let's forget about this okay we will do this later maybe so first of all we will here we have a quiz so first of all we will add a quiz like uh, teacher is teacher one and then it's a python and this this is python quiz right and save and then we will go to quiz questions and here we will add and the quiz is quiz one this is uh, what is what is python uh, uh, django Django is Django is web framework. Uh, yes, no, not sure, right? And then we'll say Django is web, not web framework. We'll say how we uh yeah okay maybe. Okay, this, this, actually this is not survey. Actually, this question is not related to the quiz. This is kind of survey. Not sure, not no. Right answer is yes. And then save. And here we have a course quiz. And we can assign the quiz to the course. So this is course, let's say Django. This is full and save this. So we have saved every data, right? Now, <clears throat> in our next video, I'll going to create the I'm going to create the component then we will add the course uh, fetch the course and everything at the teacher dashboard on the student dashboard student can attempt and then see the result and a notification in both panel right so we will do that step by step in the next video next video we will create the uh, create the front end designing and the serializer that how we can fetch the data first of all we will fetch the data and then uh, in that next video uh, from uh, next to next video we will post the data 
right and uh, then in, uh, and after that we will uh, try to uh, try to implement the uh, uh, attempt system for the student okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, yeah please like this video subscribe this channel join the member join the community and uh, you can uh, support me via reserve pay paypal and just send me your email id i will give you the access of the code thank you so much